Hello, my name is Zach Cave, and I'm excited to be here this evening to share my faith journey with you. I've had a bit of a different journey than many of you. I just completed the CIA group and was baptized at the Easter Vigil. I'm married, and I have four wonderful children, and I'm a teacher that works in Philadelphia. I was not raised in the church or with any religion. My mother was raised as a Methodist, my father was raised as a Catholic, and they decided to allow myself and my younger brother to find our own path in terms of religion. So we did not attend church or mass, though I did have a lot of friends that did. And I remember feeling jealous of those friends that I had that belonged to a church community, jealous of the events that they got to attend, jealous of the trips and the missions that they went on, and just jealous of this feeling they all seemed to have of belonging to something bigger than themselves. This left me with a feeling of something missing, a hole that I wanted to fill. As I grew older, that feeling faded, and I didn't think too much about God, positively or negatively. Religion just simply didn't have a place in my life because it never had. This began to change when I met my wife, Stacy. She was baptized Catholic, but had not finished her sacraments and been confirmed. As we shared our past experiences about religion, we realized that we had both grown up with that feeling that something was missing, and we were both determined to fix that. But the time and the place just never seemed quite right. We delayed for a long time going to church or joining a parish because we felt that we needed to have our lives and our faith all figured out before we joined. We felt like our life was just too messy, that we were just not ready as a family and as individuals. There was always some reason to delay. Lucky for us, God is patient, and he calls us all to our faith in his time. It became a more urgent matter when we started our family. We both knew we wanted to raise our children in the church. I had always felt pulled to the Catholic Church over others. I loved the Mass. I loved the music. I loved the prayers. I loved all the beautiful churches. As we began talking more seriously about joining a church, that feeling of jealousy came back and I remembered how I felt and I became very determined to find a place for my family. When my daughter was born, it was an incredible moment. Her and the rest of my children are truly gifts from God. Me and my wife have four children, ages five, three, almost two, and seven months old. So yes, we are a little bit crazy. <laughs> but we are also truly blessed, and I'm realizing that more and more each day. When my daughter was old enough to attend preschool, we chose a Catholic one because we were determined to raise our children in the church, even though we had not yet made that step for ourselves. Watching my daughter's faith bloom and grow caused mine to come crashing back down into place. It was like a switch had been flicked. It was her, and it was her excitement every day to come home and share with me the word of God that they had read at school that day. And that is what pushed us to finally act. My wife grew up right next to the church here at St. Norbert's. And she had a coworker a few years back that had shared that they had the RCIA group here and encouraged us to join. But we had made our excuses and reasons not to at the time. But when we were ready to act, we reached out to Deacon Hank and we joined the group last September. And I remember thinking that people might be a little judgmental, that they would of course be happy that I was joining the church and the parish, but that they might wonder, what is wrong with this guy? What took him so long? Why is he just doing this now? I felt a little bit like an imposter, a little inadequate, 
claiming to want to join the church when there was so much that I didn't know, so much that I still needed to learn. All of those feelings went away after our first group meeting. I was put immediately at ease. Everyone was so welcoming and happy that we were there. It was not a place where we were expected to have our faith and our lives figured out. It was a place of learning and of sharing. And everyone welcomed and loved the chaos of our young and growing family. I began to pray every day and watch the daily mass in the evenings once the kids had gone to sleep. Each day I felt like I was growing closer to God. One of the leaders of the group had given us a children's Bible and a children's prayer book. So every night, each kid would pick a story to read and a prayer to say. And this became a highlight of my day, something that I always looked forward to. I felt that sharing my faith with my children had become one of the true purposes of my life. One night, my daughter chose to read the story of Jonah and the whale, which is still one of our favorites to read today. After I had finished reading, she paused and she looked at me and she said, Dad, you can't run from God because he is in your heart. And while I may not have been running from God all these years, I certainly had not been running towards him either. And if I needed a sign that I was doing the right thing, I certainly didn't need it anymore. My daughter's faith had once again inspired and moved me. And as much as I love my children, God loves them infinitely more. And he has given me a very precious gift. Because as much as I guide them, they are also leading me. Through all these experiences, I was not only able to deepen my faith, but also to reflect on the person that God wanted me to be, the person that he had so patiently waited for me to become. My feelings of inadequacy left me, and I was able to realize that my faith journey was only truly beginning, that the RCIA group and my baptism at the vigil were only the start of a lifelong journey. We talked often in our group about timing, how we are all called to our faith in God's time and not our own. And I do not think that it is a coincidence that my faith is at its strongest when my children are finally ready to start their own faith journeys. And I think that the more that I reflect on that, the more that I see God's hand in my life and in the choices that I made. The divine choreography is there if we just take the time to look for it. And there are no doubts that my family has found the right place. This parish has been welcoming beyond words. From the members of the group to everyone I've met at Mass, everyone has had kind words to say to me and to my children. My immediate acceptance into the parish and the obvious joy at my baptism has filled my heart and my family with God's grace, truly. And I again point to God's hand and the fact that I'm standing here in front of you today. After my baptism, I was so happy. I was so full of joy. I kept saying to my wife, I want to find a way to be more involved in the church. And it was not long after that that Deacon Steve called me and asked me to share my story with all of you today. <laughs> so message received. And of course, I said yes. So God's hand is in our lives if we just take the time to look for it. I thank you for your time and allowing me to share my story with you.